Hello everyone, I am Dr. V. Srikanth Reddy, working as a consultant surgical oncologist at Fortis Cancer Institute, Bangalore and Max Clinic, Jayanagar. Chemotherapy is one of the important treatment modality in cancer patients and it can be easily delivered by the help of a chemo port. Even after finishing chemotherapy, most of the consultants will advise you to retain the chemo port for more than 2 years. During this time, it's important for you to maintain this chemo port and flush it regularly. So in this video, I'll be demonstrating you how to maintain and flush this chemo port. Before going to the procedure, patient should tell the doctor what kind of chemo port has been inserted. There will be two types of chemo ports, the open-ended chemo port and Groschen tip chemo port. Open-ended chemo ports allow blood flow inside also and can cause thrombosis. So they have to be flushed regularly within a span of 4 to 6 weeks and preferably 5 ml heparinized solution is used to flush them. Apart from this, the other port is Groschen tip chemo port. The advantage of this is the presence of valve. This valve, when you infuse the chemo, then it opens and allows the entry of chemo port into circulation and when you withdraw the blood, then it allows the entry of blood so that you can aspirate it. And whenever it is not used, the valve will be closed. The advantage is you need not maintain it very frequently and this requires flushing only once in 3 months and you can flush it just by using a normal saline solution. In our institute, nowadays we are commonly using only Groschen tip catheters. So what do we require for the procedure? You require a Huber needle, sterile tray, sterile gloves, 10 cc disposable syringe, normal saline and if you are using heparin, a heparinized vial. Keep all necessary equipments which are needed for the procedure ready in a sterile tray. With the 10 cc syringe, load the heparinized solution if it is indicated for the procedure. Later, dilute the heparinized solution with the 10 ml normal saline. After this, don't forget to flush the Huber needle before you do the insertion and lock it. Now we can start the procedure as all our equipments required are ready. Ask the patient to lie down comfortably and expose the chemo port area completely. Apply the antiseptic solution over the chemo port site. Before applying, watch for any signs of infection in the chemo port area. Allow the antiseptic solution to dry on its own. Then you can drape the patient. Cover the chemo port area using a sterile drape. Now palpate the chemo port hub using your thumb and index finger of your left hand and stabilize the chemo port. After that you can insert the Huber needle in a perpendicular fashion till it touches the base of the chemo port hub. Later, connect the Huber needle to the syringe and aspirate and confirm the location of the Huber needle and you can flush the solution which you have prepared. If the patient is undergoing chemotherapy, then you can apply a plaster over the Huber needle and leave it for the chemotherapy procedure. If the patient is not undergoing any chemotherapy procedure, then you can remove it. While removing, most of them do the mistake just by pulling off the needle. By that, you can displace the port which has been fixed. So you should be very cautious when you are removing. So before removing, you have to stabilize the port once again with your thumb and index finger 
hold it and with the other hand you pull out the needle gently that finishes our the procedure thank you